Hello and welcome, this is Innovate and here we are going to show you a small sneak peek as to what Innovate is all about. This is a game that is about crafting and making your way up the skill rank to become a master craftsman. And by doing that you will gather resources, you will do some crafting, you will do some trade with the local town, uh, build and construct things in order to gain more knowledge and work your way up the tech tree. So. Here you will see you start off with a basic cabin. This is basically our technical demo, like I said. So this is only going to be a case of showing you what is implemented. Nothing about the graphics or anything like that is to be said yet, as a lot of these models are only placeholders. So these will all be updated as we have the models made. Uh, we already have a new model for this little floating question mark here, so that will be changed very shortly. Uh, this is one of our newer models, as you can see. So. This is very fancy and you will even see here that it's got the model of the bridge which is what the idea of this demo is. So we will hopefully have this demo available, uh, it will be in a much more polished form when it's available to you but the objective of this so far is to head up here and make ourselves a bridge that will take us over to the town. Um, now construction of the bridge will in theory end this demo and we will show you what is involved in order to get that far. Once you reach the town you will then be able to, later on, once the game is more further developed, uh, be able to, like I said, do trade, um, take contracts, jobs, career paths, etc. So at the moment we are just a nobody and we have to work our way up. So we will need to start with gathering some resources and you will see I'm just going to pick up some rocks and bits and bobs here that are floating around. There we go, so there's a few rocks and we'll also head over to the lumber area where we will hopefully find some sticks or some twigs over this side. Now the whole idea of this game um, is having the crafting in a 3D manner. So when you see soon we're going to head to our crafting table and we wanted the crafting to be as open and 3D as possible so that you can move things around and not just place them on a table and click a button. We wanted to have the feel of actually you doing the crafting. So let's take our sticks and our stones and our rocks and things that we've taken and head back to our table and see what we can do. So let's jump on here. So now we are in the table here, we have some resources that we've gathered. Uh, this is basically your 3D crafting table here. So all I can do is I can take a stone shard and a small stick. Bearing in mind these models are only placeholders, these will be updated very soon. And I can drag these around. These are all physics based so I can flick them about. Um, and the physics will be a lot more sensitive than this in later dates. So you'll also be able to rotate these around, maybe even rotate the table around so you can get a full view. And it's all done by collision. So if I just collide these two together you will see I now have myself a basic chisel. Again, ignore the models. Now, there we go. I can pop that back in here. Again, this will be something different a bit later on. But I can just pull out this chisel as of when I need to. And that's one of my tools that I have here available. Now, the basic chisel isn't going to do much. We are going to want to upgrade that to a, a crafter's chisel. A crafter's chisel. So let's take a small rock and our chisel and see what we can't make with this. There we go, we've made something. Now if we put this back in here, you will see that we've made ourselves a stone chisel blade. So let's take a small stick and see what we can do with that. Collide the two together and let's see what I've got here. Put it back in the inventory and we can see if we scroll through, I've now got a small wooden handle. So let's take a small wooden handle and a stone chisel blade and you can guess what we're going to do here. There we go, a crafter's chisel. You can see one of the one of our newer models that we've got, so this is actually a much better version. And we now have a crafter's chisel. A crafter's chisel will allow us to do a lot more crafting, so we can stick with this now. And what we're going to work towards now is making some tools. It's all fair and well us picking up some sticks and picking up some stones and tinkering with them in a table, but what you really want to be doing a crafter bridge is not using sticks. We want to get some proper wood get going and some proper large stones. So let's get us a large rock, shall we? And a large stick. Now combining these two together will not do anything because there's no such recipe to do so. Let's take this and let's make ourselves a hatchet head. Again, ignore the models for now 
and let's make ourselves a large handle. Combine the two together and we've made ourselves, again one of our later models, a nice hatchet. So let's pick that up and let's try and do the same, oh we can't, we don't have any more large sticks. So let's pop our chisel away for the moment and exit out of the table. Here we go back in the world, start to get a bit dark. Now one of our plans for um, future development is once we're able to get Unity Pro there's a lot more we can do with skyboxes, weather, um, day night cycles and things so that will be a lot more advanced. Now if we go to our inventory here pressing E we'll see that we've got all of these items still in our inventory as well as now a tool. So we have a stone hatchet we can click on that and get that out. Now before we were not able to do anything. Now we can cut down trees and pick up the resources. So let's that's one of our trees that we can't do anything with yet. So there we go. And this time we got some logs. Again, look, all physics based. Can we do anything with this one? Not yet. And another large stick there. So have we got what we need to make the next tool? Yes, we do. So let's get our crafter chisel back out again. We're going to want a large rock and a large stick. Let's combine all these together and make a pickaxe head. Combine that and we've made ourselves our pickaxe. Make sure we put our tools away. And now you'll see we have a stone pick. So same principle applies. We can then go into our quarry over here and mine us some stone and then we will be able to craft ourselves the bridge later on. Again there will be more tools along the way, we've got a mallet that you need to construct to be able to do that. But let's take a look at this. This is our furnace, we need seven cut stone. So to make this we're going to have to go to the quarry and mine out some stone to get some cut stone. Uh, and let's have a look at this one as well. This is one of the, the, our newer ideas. We used to have ghost images that now we have these hovering question marks. So this will tell us that there's something we can develop here. And later on you'll be able to upgrade your home and also then upgrade the features within the home and you'll know that by having these or smaller versions of these. So we need four large sticks to make ourselves a campfire. We have two. So let's get ourselves some more wood and then hopefully we can make ourselves a campfire. There'll be a lot of technical mechanics involved in this game in so far as things like having a, la a torch out in one hand will reduce the efficiency of your pickaxe because you have less of the manpower enabled to be able to do that. And we'll also have things like farming and survival aspects to this as well. So do we have, no we still don't have enough large sticks. So as you progress through the tech tree you will, you will gain jobs and you will have specialist advancements along with research that you will unlock enabling you to craft more, do more and generally make yourself a much better home to live in, make a life for yourself and so on and so forth. Oh we've got some good goodies there, five large sticks. So let's go and see about this campfire. There we go, so it now tells me that we've got our four large sticks and I can press enter to construct. Ignore the placeholder model, this is only literally showing you that what we can do. And there we go, we've got a bit of lighting. And the whole idea behind this is that you will then be able to craft torches that will then give you light and you will carry around a lantern with you. Again, ignore the, the fact our day-night cycle is a little bit buggy at the moment, but this is just our technical demo. So you will see how the systems work and what we hope to do with it. There will also be multiplayer later on where you will be able to join with your friends and each friend will have a different profession or role and you will be able to construct towns, cities and everything and do trade with other players and basically become towns of craftsmen working together. So thanks for watching, hopefully you have an idea now of what the game is all about, and we'll see you soon.
If you have any questions, please feel free to post them in the comments section and I will try to answer as many as I can and hopefully get some ideas off of you guys as to how we can advance the game even further. Thank you.